first memory I have was going with my dad when I was eight to a reserve game. But from 13, I've been coming regularly. Yeah, it was my dad that got me into supporting Bournemouth. And my mother also went, and my aunt and my uncle. So it's quite a family thing. What do I think is special about football? Well, um, it's just brilliant as far as I'm concerned. I actually used to play in the old days. I always liked football. Um, I can't really explain why. It's just possibly in the blood from the family and um, it just helps me to unwind. I get really angry so it gets rid of tension and stuff. So um, yeah, that's been most of my life has been around football. I've been a uh, former supporter um, for for a few years now, um, as a matter of fact, I was baby in arms, uh, six months old when I was first bought here. That was in 1930. Well, my earliest um, recollection really is um, when I was uh, lucky enough to be on the book to Bournemouth. Um, um, I knew I was never going to make the grade, but I took my little chest out then um, and I've been a supporter ever since. People I've met coming over to Dean Court is um, I've made so many friends among, among the, the supporters that uh, when we go away on trips it's more like a, a family outing than it is going away um, just on your own. It's, uh, the supporters make the, make the game for me uh, as much as the at, um, 22 men kicking a bag of wind about. Um, we, um, you know, the, the comradeship within the club is, is the important thing. The people that I go to games with, that's just close friends. I met these um, people through coming to the football and they've been really supportive of me through a bit of a difficult time. My late husband and I were married for 44 years and that was on the 22nd of October. We met when he was playing cricket for British Aerospace and I was doing the scoring for the British Aerospace cricket team. And we got together through that love of cricket. All my friends came around for me after my husband died very well. Um, the, uh, the, he died on the Monday and on the Saturday I went to an away game with the football and it's difficult to explain really but um, I felt they, they felt like family and they were great, really great. Uh, I come in the store fairly frequently, um, mainly uh, very often during the, during the week. Through the years I've got to know most of them and we're on Rather than Mr. and Mrs., we're on first setting relationships, and we um, we just we just get on. Let's talk about Harry. Absolutely brilliant. I actually met him the first time, and I can't actually remember when on an away trip, and we sat next to each other and we chatted the whole way. And I've I usually see him every week at away games now, and we always chat, have a cuddle, and chat about football. We take over Warwick Services when we, there's a whole gang of us in Warwick Services and we have our own corner. Woe betide anybody if they take, get there first. <laughs> when we travel away, um, we're, like, we're quite a close little group. Everybody knows everybody else. You feel you can go and speak to anybody um, and you get an honest appraisal from the supporters. The football club, to me, has um, it's meant company, making good friends, having a, having a seat in a stand where we get the same uh, people there every week, and you get quite a relationship with them, and uh, it. Um, it's, uh, it's the thing that kept me going, really, after I lost my wife. 
So, that's about it really. The people that I've met since supporting Bournemouth mean everything to me because they've actually got me through. a really difficult time and they've been absolutely great and I really really appreciate it and I don't know if I could have managed without them I'm really really grateful to them and the football club as well yeah <laughs>